Welcome to our lecture online. So 1971 was a very special year when it comes to spacecraft exploring Mars. This was the first year in which an orbiter was actually able to get into orbit around the planet. Matter of fact, not just one succeeded, but three succeeded. Two of the Soviet Union orbitals, orbiters succeeded in, going, in orbiting around Mars, and so did one of the Americans. It was a race. All three left from here to Mars in, in 1971 to try and orbit the planet. And even though Mariner 9 left after the two Soviet spacecraft, Mars 2 and Mars 3, it got there before the other two because it only took 168 days to get there. Well, one of the advantages perhaps was Mariner 9 had a lighter payload and perhaps was able to boost to a slightly higher velocity. Also, the timing may have been better leaving on May 30th rather than May 19th or 28th. Whatever it was, it got there first and it was the first successful orbiter around Mars. But the so Soviet Union also succeeded with Mars 2 and Mars 3. Now, in addition to that, they also had landers with them and rovers as well. Both of these spacecraft, Mars 2 and Mars 3, part of the reason why they were, had a heavier payload and probably took a little longer to get there. So notice that uh, they both were successful in orbiting around the planet, but in the case of Mars 2, the lander crashed and the rover then, of course, was lost. They couldn't deploy it because they came in on a crash landing. On the other one, Mars 3, orbiters were successful, the lander had partial success, meaning it landed, it started sending messages, uh, and it lasted, the messages landed, or achieved the transmission, not the messages, but the transmission lasted for about 20 seconds. It sent a partial picture of the surface, and then it stopped transmitting, and of course, since communication was lost at that point, we also lost communication to the rover, and it was not able to be deployed. So, they were very successful in getting a spacecraft to actually land on the surface, but not as much landing and then doing its job. Once it got there, uh, perhaps it came in a little too hard at too high a speed and wasn't able to absorb the impact and therefore damage caused the transmission to be lost. Notice that uh, Mars 2 st uh, started out uh, just on the heels of Cosmos 419, which was nine days earlier, but that one didn't leave Earth's orbit. The booster timing was incorrect, probably couldn't get up to a high enough speed if it was just a partial burn and wasn't able to get away from the gravitational force of the Earth. And then before Mar Mariner 9 was sent on the 30th of May, 21 days earlier, Mariner 8 was sent, but it failed to achieve Earth orbit. It wasn't able to get to Earth orbit. Something went wrong during the launch period, and uh, it didn't even get around in the orbit around the Earth. So at least Mariner 9 was successful in getting there, and Mariner 8 wasn't able to get uh, even started on the trip to Mars. Notice the orbiters of Mars 2 lasted for 362 orbits, which was great. Mars 3 only lasted for 20 orbits, and Mariner 9 lasted for a total of 509, uh, 516 days. At that point, there was enough information that had been gathered. No more additional information could be gathered at that point, so they ended up shutting the mission down. But I don't know how many orbits that is, but definitely probably well over 1,000 orbits around Mars. It depends upon the altitude of the orbit. I, I'm not uh, at this moment familiar with how high up the orbit was. I'll have to go look it up. But uh, definitely it uh, was a raving success and they received as much data as their instruments could have given them during that 516 day period. So you can see that 1971 was a big year for, uh, for the tra travel to Mars in that we were able to successfully get three orbiters around the planet. So once we knew how to do that, the next stage is how do we successfully land the lander onto the surface and have it survive that landing. Remember, it's very difficult to land on Mars, and so coming in with a soft landing is, is paramount and very difficult to do. So stay tuned and we'll show you how they managed on the next two missions going to Mars.